So my stove top is cracked. I have no idea how it happened, but I, I made breakfast on the burner that's cracked this morning. I made, uh, I made Rick some chicken fried rice with some leftovers and um, afterwards I was cleaning off the stove top and it was then that I noticed that there was a crack on the stove. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can at this angle, look at that. Cracked right across, and this is the main burner. You can see that, that there's two large burners in the front. This is the one to the left that I use probably the most. And it cracked all the way over. It actually cracks all the, almost all the way up into this burner. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about it. Mm. So, so here's the question. Do we repair it or do we buy a new one? Because if it's going to be several hundred dollars to repair it, then may as well buy a new one. But then there's also this. Appliances are really hard to come by, but so are appliance parts. And if I can get a whole appliance very quickly versus waiting several weeks on, a, on an appliance part and there's not that much difference in price, then again, it's probably worthwhile to me to have a brand new appliance. So an update, I'm sitting here at the computer. I have watched videos. I feel very confident that I could replace the stovetop myself. However, here's the problem. Even if I could buy it, it's like $250 for the part alone, plus shipping. Um, and everywhere is out of stock, which I had heard that people were out of stock on both appliances and appliance parts, but this is the first time I've ever had to actually deal with it. So that brings me back to my main problem, time. I really don't wanna be without a stove for a really long time. So, we could keep the stove with the idea that when things come back into uh, stock, then I could replace it and then just resell the stove, which would have a brand new top and be in excellent like new condition and probably make the money back. Which now that I'm thinking about it doesn't really make a ton of sense because I really wouldn't make that much off of it. If anything, it's like, why bother? So I may as well just let the appliance people have it. I think, it, I think it might be looking more like getting a new one. So, just not sure how I wanna go about it, which is why I thought, you know what? I'll make a video and I'll put it out there. Also not sure about cooking on it. So this is, I looked it up on Google. And Google says that it's dangerous to use the cooktop. So we are going to, I think use the stove for right now. Let me know if, if you've ever done this before, if you think using the stove isn't a great idea. Just to clarify, Marquise mentioned to me that I said that we were gonna use the stove for now. I meant like the oven. I just called it a stove. I guess it depends on where you live. It might've been confusing. Mm -hmm. But I meant the oven. We'll use the oven, crock pot, rice cooker, and any other small appliance we might have. So I got a waffle maker. I think we might be making some waffles for breakfast. <laughs> I can make some vegan ones. And um, Marquise was talking about making a quiche. So there's that. But yeah. And we also have, of course, our um, crock pot. <laughs> Always good to use. Um, it's probably gonna get more frequent use. And then look, look what Marquise made. Genius Marquise, this is what he did for lunch. Hey Mo. Hello. So Marquise actually used the rice cooker, you guys. Tell everybody what you made. Well, um, there were chicken nuggets in the freezer. So I was like, well, I might as well use these. And I was like, well, we can't cook on the stove, so what else can I use? And I was like, the rice cooker, because I use it all the time. He does. So I decided to cook some rice, and to save on dishes, I just cut up the chicken nuggets and put it in the rice with some like cheese and some salsa and stuff. And I turned it into little tacos. Cheese, so. salsa, hot sauce. Yes. Very good. Tacos, look at him, he's enjoying it. Ladies over here relaxing, like she does not even care about the fact that we do not have a stove anymore. So, I mean, we have some things, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm vegan, so I'm gonna make a baked potato, but anyway, awesome job. So, I'm just throwing it out there to you guys. What do you think? Do you think that I should 
try to repair it, just get a new one. I'm honestly, I'm leaning to just get a new one. You know what's funny? Let me tell you what's funny. Just because you're here, you're hanging out with me today and I feel like talking. I was talking to Rick about it and he was not concerned at all. He's like, yeah, we could do without a stove for a while. And I'm like, we eat every day, every day. And he's like, nah, it'll be all right. And I'm like, I don't think so. So anyway, just to, to where my husband is on it, he's like, nah, it's no big deal. We can go without it for a while. Oh my word, okay. I'm just trying to wrap my brain around this because this is a major, major, major thing to me. On a side note, we do have savings. We can afford to do either, but I don't ever want to take my savings. I never want to spend more. You should know be mine now. I never want to spend more than I have to. But at the same time, I also think, you know, the idea to be frugal is to not be wasteful either. And I don't want to waste money getting something cheap that's not going to last. It's actually, I bought a new stove just a couple of years ago anyway, because I didn't want to deal with anything like this. And I got to be honest with you, I'm thinking this is my first experience with a glass top. I want to go back to coils. If I can find a coil one, I might be going back to coils. This is... The, Anybody else feeling this way? Is it just me? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. So this is where I'm at. No stove. I cannot even believe it. I'm, it's okay, it's okay. There are stoves available. We can get it fixed, we can get a new one. But I just, I, I needed to vent about it, you guys. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> I just, I, it's, it blows my mind completely that I am looking at a cracked glass stove top. I called my sister. My sister who has owned a few houses, her and her husband ha have flipped houses for a business for many years. I said, Candace, have you ever run into a house with a cracked glass stove top? And she said she has never run into it. And was shocked that I had, because I've only had this stove for like two years. Before you tell me, by the way, to call my homeowner's insurance, I will definitely not call my homeowner's insurance. I will not call my homeowner's insurance for anything unless it is a major disaster because I do not want anything to mess with my costs of my home, of my insurance policy. I, any kind of claim you make on it, even if you don't make a claim but you make a call, they make a note and it can impact your costs with your insurance. So yeah, not even going there. This is something very inexpensive that we can cover ourselves. We're just gonna deal with it. So anyway, all right, thank you for listening to my venting. I'm gonna go replan my meal plan. On the note of replanning my meal plan, please leave me some comments below on meals that you think would be good to make for the family with the crock pot, with the rice cooker. Cause like we did Crocktober and my family, in the stove even, and my, my family loves crock pot meals, but if you've ever done a Crocktober, by the end, they want something that's not made in a crock pot because it's usually all soft. So I, I need some ideas. Definitely, definitely, definitely give me some ideas of some things that I could put on the meal plan. Also, I wanted to mention too, that I was, as I was rewatching this, I was thinking to myself, you know, I could just keep the stove keep it and then later because like all my kids are getting older maybe one of them are going to need a stove sometime so there's that thought too let me know your thoughts okay that's really it that's really it guys and tomorrow's rick's day off and i'm guessing we're gonna go shopping for a stove <laughs> so i'll keep you guys posted anyway you guys have a good day we'll see you next time